Mark, we know that LinkedIn has become very important place for job seekers, recruiters, managers. The first thing a recruiter does when they get a resume, they go and check the candidate's LinkedIn page. So in that sense, what tips do you have for job seekers to use LinkedIn to the most of the potentials or the advantages that LinkedIn is offering so that they can be memorable and they can show who they are? Well, one, I think the, the work starts before you get, get on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And if you're just filling out the profile for the first time, I recommend you going to Google, check your name. Mm -hmm. If you there's a bunch of selections for your name, you probably are not one of the results since you don't have an online presence. So uh, if John Smith is checking for the first time, there's going to probably be 1 million John Smiths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many are John Q. Smith, if your middle name is Quincy, or mm -hmm. how many I, John I. Smith there are if you're John I. Friend Smith? Yeah. So therefore, check with Google, see mm -hmm. how your name is played out. Maybe check on a couple of the other social networks to see mm -hmm. if there's anybody else. So that way you can put in LinkedIn, you can have a Twitter account, Facebook, Instagram, all of those if you want, or choose one or two that you want to use. And that every time somebody will look for your name, John I. Smith, you'll appear. Yeah. So that would be the first thing you would do before you get on, or so you can stand out. So right there, your name is very rare. Yeah. Maybe there might be other John I's, Maybe you need to put John Ifrin Smith so you can even furthermore stand out. So that would be the first thing. And the second thing is, is fill out your profile 100% correct or not just in full. Because if you're not in full, then it's going to be harder for you to show up in the search engines. Third thing I would do is make sure that I have my title that I hold. If you've been working with a company for 10 years, you need to check your job title to see if it's been updated. If it hasn't been updated, then I would go ahead and update that job title to the most prevalent thing as long as those are the same skills that are needed for that position. If they're not, that's a bit of intel that's going to tell you, you need to update your skills and update it so that you can put that title that stands out. It's sort of like if I wait, if I uh, majored in college and or even if I got the job after college management information systems, that title is not used anymore. <laughs> so therefore, you're going to be seen as ir irrelevant. But if you put in information technology systems or something that's more current, then you will at least be with everybody else and be relevant. But then your name is going to help you stand out, uh, have the photo and have all those trinket things. But mostly the engagement is really going to carry you further mm -hmm. uh, for you to comment, to like. But comment is really, really the sweet spot because there you can stand out and start to gain something for your branding purposes because really it's about the reputation. Yeah. And you'd mentioned about the title. Do you think that people should change the title and put their skill set? Like say, I'm a career coach or I'm a, a job developer but my title in a company can be different. Do you think that they should, because in LinkedIn, the, it's by default takes your title. Is it important to change that? Good question. Um, for my uh, LinkedIn, I don't put the title. I don't put a title. I don't have a title to match, but yet I'm found because the reason why is because my uh, skill set is, is matched with value. Yeah. So I would say value is going it should be a hybrid of title and Brett value. But yeah. if the title, there's a thousand people who are under those titles, then I recommend you highlight the value and the yeah. value that's unique to you so that you can stand out. Because really that's going to tell the tale. There could be a thousand people who do computers. Yes. But if if you don't stand out as a web developer or something like that, then you'll look like everybody else. And what about the LinkedIn banner? A lot of time people use Canva to personalize, to show more important, you know, follow me, I do this. Is it important also to have that banner unique for you? 
I think it helps you to stand out, giving people something memorable to go by. So uh, if you want to show part of your personality, if you like humor, be humorous. Yeah, uh, yeah. That banner is a free space, sort of uh, a non-judgmental space, at least as far as the search engine is concerned. But when they come to your page, it's a point of engagement. Yeah. 